Kate and William took advantage of their free schedule and the half-term break to spend some quality time with their children and head off to the ski slopes, a royal source said. The Cambridges are known for loving winter sports and are not new to skiing breaks. Three years ago, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge took George and Charlotte to four-star ski resort Kerchival in the Tres Valleys in France, where rooms can be booked from £279 a night. Meghan Markle's friends shares details of New York baby shower Meghan Markle baby, why the Duchess of Sussex did not open gifts as Prince William and Kate are not booked for any official engagement in the near future, and the second half of the spring term doesn't begin until next Monday, the Cambridges are expected to be far from the public eye until the end of the week. Prince George is in year one at the prestigious Thomas's Battersea in London, while Princess Charlotte is attending her final year at Wilcox Nursery, Kensington, London. The skiing break took place at the same time of Meghan's lavish baby shower party across the pond. Read more, Kate and Prince William clear royal schedules for Prince George and Princess Charlotte Meghan flew to New York on Friday for a five-day break in one of his favorite American cities, during which she has enjoyed good food, done shopping and experienced afternoon tea in the fashionable Soho district. On Wednesday, however, the low-key trip attracted a lot of attention. The mark, the hotel where the Duchess of Sussex was staying, saw the arrival of dozens of celebrities, including Amal Clooney, Meghan's best friend and fashion stylist Jessica Mulroney, tennis star Serena Williams and Suits actress Abigail Spencer, all attending Meghan's baby shower. The party, believed to have been organized by Mrs Mulroney, saw the attendance of 15 of Meghan's closest friends, but none of her relatives or royals. Read more, Meghan Markle shock as baby shower held today celebrities arrive to five-star hotel Meghan Markle could be having a baby boy after friend leaks shock B. Meghan Markle baby shower ends in disaster with guests left stranded the baby shower is thought to have cost hundreds of thousands of pounds. It was organized in the hotel owning the most expensive suit in the US, where rooms can cost up to £57,400 a night, and featured harpist Aaron Hill and expensive party favors. Following the bash, which started approximately at 6 p.m. GMT, Meghan was seen leaving the hotel wearing fitness gear and trainers and hop on a Gulfstream G450 private jet. A source who spoke to Harper's Bazaar had previously confirmed Meghan would embark on a relaxing solo trip, where she would meet her friends and respect the American tradition of the baby shower. They said, the trip is a lovely chance to catch up with friends and spend time in a city she loves. This will be the last time a lot of them will see Meg until after the baby is born, so it's nice to share precious moments. The New York break took the public by surprise, but the source revealed it had been carefully planned for months. They added, it's been a relaxing visit. Nothing beats FaceTime with your friends. Meg will be flying home refreshed and relaxed and with a lot of new baby clothes. The trip to New York comes when Meghan is believed to be approximately 30 weeks into her pregnancy. Most airlines allow pregnant women to get on their plane until the 37th week, and the NHS advises not to fly after the 38th week.